For this demo, we will be using a grab simulator to place an order. So now let's try ordering. After the customer places the order, a notification will appear on the POS. Additionally, we will hear an alert notification and a kitchen order ticket will be printed automatically. Tapping on the notification bar will lead you to the delivery page, where you can view all delivery transactions along with the grab total sales and the details of each order. Upon swiping an order, we have three options, extend, cancel, and ready. We can also tap on the three dots to view the options. If additional time is needed to prepare the order, simply tap on the extend button, then select a time. Automatically, the ready time will be adjusted. If we need to cancel the order, we can tap on the cancel button, then select a reason for canceling. You will see a cancel notification on the POS and the transaction will be tagged as void. Once the order is ready, tap on the ready button. The order will now be assigned to a rider. Any updates to the status of a grab order will be reflected in the POS in real time. To generate the official receipt, just tap on the Print OR button. Now let's try placing a self-pickup order. For self-pickup order, you will see a pin location icon on the left corner of the order. In here, we have an option to extend the preparation time or set the status to ready. Once the order is ready, the status will be order prepared. And after the customer picks up the order, the status will now be delivered. To view your grab orders again, simply navigate to the delivery page on the menu. From there, you have the option to filter your orders by status and utilize the search box to quickly find a specific order by grab ID. On the delivery page, we can also pause grab by tapping on the toggle button. In here, we can set the pause time. Grab will automatically resume after the pause time ends, or we can resume grab any time by tapping again on the toggle button. Now we're done with the grab demo.